Hey, what's up? Not much here. Still making slow progress on our factoring. I finally have absolutely nothing to do on a Friday, though, and it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, so here I am. Have you ever heard of Pro Builder? Well, it's dope. And today I'm going to show you, and relearn myself, how to use it to make custom 3D buttons. Then I'm going to show you how to use those in my ARJS Unity plugin. Without further ado, let's make some custom buttons. Let's do this! Alright, first things first. Let's add Pro Builder to Unity. Go up to Window, Package Manager, and Pro Builder should be in these packages here. Just click it, click Install. Yeah. So I'm not sure what exactly this is about. But I'm going to hit yes and hope that everything's okay. Alright, it looks like it did that okay and it um, successfully remapped files or something. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> Alright, let's make a new scene to play in. Alright, create. Yep, yep. I know what I'm doing, I promise. Alright, so in this scene, you want to go Tools, Pro Builder, Pro Builder Window, and. Um, there should be settings that go along with this that allow you to <laughs> well that was embarrassing okay I'm back and I finished watching a tutorial now I can give y'all a proper tutorial alright so <clears throat> I'm gonna switch this over to icon mode <clears throat> have it as a floating window maximize my Place here. Alt click this to get a new shape. I'm gonna go with um, 0 0.25 in the y direction, 1 and 1 for x and z. Build. I kind of already have one over here, but like um, that one. All right. Um, I'm OCD, so I'm going to put this as 000. zero, zero. There we go. There we go. Okay, so if you switch on over to your scale tool, and this thing kind of like selects different options, um, so there's like object selection. Vertex selection, edge selection, and face selection. Go ahead and select face selection and shift click this uh, like little center cube to bring it in a little bit. There we go. And then hit W to enter the uh, move tool. Right. You can just kind of move this up here like that. Isn't that neat? Alright. That's looking like a button, kinda. Alright, <laughs> All right, now the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to change this PNG to kind of like make it appropriate or like to add style or flair to it. We'll do like a Facebook button or something. That'll be neat. Alright, and roughly one and a half of me watching tutorials later... I know what I'm doing again. <laughs> so open up the UV editor. This will all look jumbled and shit, but um, you can select each individual face, kind of um, orient them in a way that makes sense to you, uh, that you can like draw easily on top of.
Okay, it took me way too long to do, like, the UV mapping. But, in essence, you want to go from that to, like, looking like this. And just, like, keep resizing and reshaping until you get something like that. <clears throat> Alright, but the important thing that you want to do now is render this thing and give it lines and that'll tell you where all your stuff is and then you save the UV template <clears throat> all right cool now I have UVs and I can open this with something like Photoshop Okay, so this next part took way too long as well, so here is it sped up. Um, essentially all you want to do is grab an icon and put it where you want to put it on the surface. So yeah, here we go. And now that's there. So now, if you have, let's delete this dude. Um, oh, this uses a certain thing, doesn't it? Uh, Pro Builder window. I'm pretty sure there's something for editing the material of the object. Right, so there's that one. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure the right way to do this is. Oh, why am I in packages? Let's do objects exports. Create material, and we'll make this. Facebook. We'll make it a Facebook. Drag and drop that into the albedo. And then drag and drop that into the cube. There we go. Now we just need to re export this object and call it a Facebook button. Facebook. <clears throat> Throw it in the button examples. And there it is. Full and complete with stuff. Now, wait a second. I remember there being something else to this. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the Facebook button material. Cool. Now I can delete this. Add in my ARJS image target. Add in a custom model and you need to give it three files the object file which is that boy the material file which is this boy and the texture file which is that dude 
Hit place model. Oh, look at that. Ain't that neat. Okay, now we can do some shit to the transform of this guy. Let's move this around like that which seems to be 180 in the Y rotation. Let's have it positioned at 0, 0, 0 because of stuff. It looks like it's offset, actually, uh, to center for whatever reason. Pretty sure it'll be off by 0 0.5. should be zero, right? Oh no, 0 0.25 because of the thickness of it, maybe? Nope, nope, it's still not touching. It should be zero. There we are. There we are. Look at that. It's in the center of the thing and everything. Alright, now let's scale this up a bit. Make it a button we can actually click. Maybe move it up a little bit so it's not passing through the bottom of the thing there. There we go. Beautiful. And it's totally not in the center. That's okay. Oh, wait, maybe it was in the center. Whatever. Good enough for me. And there you have an entire Facebook button. Oh no. Okay, so um, I should probably explain real quick all the transformations I just did on this cube, or at least some of them, uh, are funky now. Okay, just the position. The cube itself is supposed to be 0, 0, 0. I have it parented to model so that way it works out easier in the, uh, the code. I'm not sure what it's actually supposed to be. I think it's the same as the... Let's just throw another one in there real quick. Yeah, so the transform of the inner thing is supposed to be like this. So we need to make sure that's correct on this cube that we're working with. So there we go. Now we need to select the model and have it change its position. There we go. Alright. Let's call that good enough. Click on the model click make button now you can give it a website or whatever um, let's go to compile files oh what is this Alright, approximately two beers, one bug fix, and one reconfigure of my FTP server later, I'm back. And we're ready to hit compile files. Let's go in here to this button example, show this in explorer. Oh wait, that's not what we want to do. We want to go into FileZilla, and we found the button example, and we want to copy this entire folder over to this A-frame folder. Boom. All right. We'll um. We'll pick this back up with a screen recording of my phone and see if it works. And hopefully it works. Okay, like 
two more bug fixes later. Although, to be fair, it's not my fault. It's the, um, it's either A-Frame or the current ARJS project, but, uh, the versions weren't working for whatever reason. Boom. Button complete. Hey, me again. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I got lots of shit to say. Just kidding. But I do have a few things. Really just one thing. Uh, so I've done the first part of the refactor, which simplifies a lot of things, and introduced a few bugs. Well, like I took care of some of those, I think. Maybe most of them. Who knows? I'll do the second part of the refactor, and then I should be getting back to adding new features to the plugin. Hopefully. Uh, in the meantime, though, I wanted to add more content to my YouTube channel, something that doesn't have to do with my plugin, uh, but I obviously can't stray too far from AR. For now. Since that's kind of my, what my channel's built around thus far, though, um, you know. But um, yeah, so I'm about to show you a uh, short video clip. Uh, yeah, take a look here. Um, at the last place I worked, uh, I made this kind of stuff. Um, stuff that's like mostly Vuforia in Unity. Is this something you all would be interested in me refiguring out how to do and then making a tutorial for it? Vote now by liking and subscribing. And then also comment so I know you didn't just like and subscribe my channel for my lame memes and witty personality.